Welcome back to the channel everybody and welcome to my humble abode here in the mountains. I would like to start this video out by saying that I am an idiot for misidentifying what I thought were brook trout the other day. I was like, man, these are just giant brook trout. So on my way down from the mountain, hopefully you guys watched the last video where I saw some elk for the first time. Amazing experience. Ran into a fellow Texan, fly fisherman, and uh, I just picked his brain because I was like, dude, what's the difference between a cutthroat and a brook trout and a tiger trout and a rainbow and a brown and a lake trout and an arctic char and a... <sighs> all these mountain white fish and kokanee and my gosh this is my section right here this is normally where i this is where i live right there them crappies mm-hmm gills sunfishes you know I, you know i do the white bass uh you know that's what i do over here is kind of foreign territory and I'd like to learn. I want to learn more. His name was Scott, I believe, by the way. Um, what Scott so graciously did was give me his pamphlet. Because when I went to uh, the Walmart, I got a pamphlet, but it was just for big game. And I didn't realize, I thought it was just an all-in-one deal, but it was just for big game. So this one is all about the fishing. And when you buy your elk tag, you also get uh, a fishing license that's built in. And what I realized is when I scrolled here to the pictures page is that what I was catching entirely and could be eating this whole time is cutthroats. The cutthroat crimson slash on either side of the throat beneath the lower jaw uh, having spotting towards the tail. That is exactly what I was catching when I thought I was catching here. These are the brook trout. Beautiful fish. But they have spots all the way over. They're real small, usually. So he's actually down there fishing, like right behind my tent right now, and he's like, yeah, you don't even have to leave your tent. Catch all you want right here. He's just catching and releasing them. I cannot believe that. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run up to one of these other lakes up here where I've heard that there's kokanees and some other species. I'm gonna use the uh, regular rod and reel, maybe use the fly rod, but uh, just try to feel the cooler, get some meat, because I am hungry. Uh, I brought lemons, I brought butter, I brought uh, some Cosmo SBG, my normal fish spice, and I use a bunch of other stuff. Y'all, I am ready to not make some Golden Krispies, but put a trout on the skillet and some tin foil. You can go ahead and make fun of me in the comments. That's perfectly fine. Uh, that was a, that was a bad move. I have no cell phone service, nothing up here, so I was not able to identify. This is incredibly luck of circumstance that there was just happened to be a fellow Texan here with a regulation manual and gave it to me. Thank you, sir. Now, let's go catch some fish. <laughs> Beautiful mountain lake. I've never done this type of fishing. I'm hoping to just have a nice little meat haul and then there's a small town uh, somewhere in these mountains. I see it on my map and I'm hoping that they have an ice machine because I need some more ice. So throw the fish in the cooler, get them iced up, and you know we gotta put them in some butter and lemon and tin foil. Not a golden crispy today, but it's gonna be a tasty anyway. Just came up with that jingle, y'all. I pride myself on my jingle jingles of fishing and hunting it's just something i do oh my gosh look at the gorgeous ass there wow jim wow that ain't beautiful but kick me right in the teeth so uh if you were going to pick a place to fish all day and never catch a thing this is probably the move right here. Look at this absolutely gorgeous scenery. Oh man, I saw some old men around the bank um, about a mile back and they were literally just doing this. Didn't even care, they've probably been there all day. See a little bit of surface activity, bam, bam, bam. But what I've got rigged up is uh, what's called a super duper. I've used these for trout before, catching rainbows, um, throwing six pound Guggen Squad Fluoro. This is one of our brand new sizes, real small. I use this crappie fishing. Using my Yampa River, which I use for trout and crappies and everything. And we're just, we're gonna give it a deep dangle. Got the fanny pack on, uh, got the knife pouch. 
and the pliers are ready to go. Let's get it done. Little super duper coming. Get you some. Gosh, this is a remote. Oh, that's a little trout. That's a little brown trout. Come on now. now these are the tiny trout. I'm in the lake now. It's time to get to big ones. Oh my gosh, they're like feeding out here. What is going on? Okay, I'm gonna keep moving. Some activity right here. Gosh, I didn't even bring the fly rod. I didn't even think about it. But those are the little trout, little lake trout. Not lake trout like that, but literally trout that are in a lake. I've walked around to a point. My buddy marked the spot on the map and said it's a good fishing area, so we'll see. Want some of those kokanee salmon. Oh gosh, I see one right there. That's a trout. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, I just had one. Oh, they're, they're following it in. Oh, they're following it. Oh my gosh, what in the heck is going on here? I think these are trout. I don't think they're the salmon. So the, uh, the trout, I'm only allowed to keep four in aggregate of different species, but the kokanees, I can keep 10. This little thing may be too big, but wow, they're in here. You can see them just kind of hovering at the surface. They're like all over the tops, all over the tops. Maybe I need to throw something that's a little bit more topwater-esque. What the heck, they are smashing the tops. I guess I need to I need to figure out like a little bug or something I can throw out here. Oh gosh, I got one. Oh baby. Oh, oh, look at that jumper. Holy cow. Oh, I think it's a rainbow. I have no idea, to be honest. Oh yes, but you're gonna eat so tastily. This is a rainbow. Oh, don't get me on them rocks, baby. Don't get me on them rocks. Oh, there's another one with it, baby. Oh, yes, that's a rainbow. What a beauty. Oh, you're big. You're going to eat like a tasty treat. Oh, yes. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't get away. Don't get away. I know this isn't proper trout etiquette here, but I am. This is going in my belly, so it's not going to matter a whole lot. Oh, yes, it's good to know. Good to know what we got here. All right, that's a nice rainbow. Break out our stringer. Don't you love that sound? Sound of glory. All right, there we go. I'm gonna hold you there with this big rock. Okay, that is one fish that is gonna eat good. Who doesn't like a good rainbow trout? Okay, that's my first trout. I can keep four of those guys. Another one. There's one right there. There's a rainbow. Taste it. Oh, 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 he's coming, he's coming. He got it, oh, oh, he's coming again. Oh, oh, come on, come on, grab that thing. Get that thing, let's do it. Oh, man, I sight casted that guy. Just kind of nibbed it. This is crazy, because they're like, just at the surface, you know, over deep water. Oh, oh, don't you get away, buddy. Don't you be trying to get away. Especially with my stringer. Just had another bite. Working this little shallower point here. Come on, baby. Okay, I'm gonna switch lures because they're looking at it, kind of swiping it, but they don't really want it. Okay, we're gonna go with something smaller, I think. I'm just gonna go with a plain Jane little spoon. Actually, I'm gonna go with one of these little cast masters with some orange on it. This style spoon in a survival situation, money. I also have some little flies in there. Okay, a little lure change up. Oh, good distance on this guy. Oh, I got a bite. Oh, there he is. Oh, come on. mouth come on I'll try reeling it up high don't hit it 
Oh, he's following it. Oh, oh, he's, oh, he dropped it. Dad gum. Just a light, light hit. Hit it on the stop. Coming back over to the other windy side. I just had another bite. Oh, come on. Oh, oh he took off with it. Wow, when they hit this thing, it is crazy. Man, they're just not connecting that good. Down. Just keep moving. <clears throat> Second rainbow on. This looks like these are all rainbows in here. <clears throat> I'm just gonna fight you down this way towards my stringer. This side's a little better to fish. No, don't get off. Come on, flop your way out of there. There you go. Okay. Rock climbing. Join your buddy over here in the shallow spot. There we go. Two down. I'm gonna leave my stringer back there for good luck. Because it usually happens, you know, you gotta go all the way out of your way, put the fish on there, it's like, I'll take just catching the fish at this point. I need two more trout and I can keep 10 kokanees, but I don't know if I'm in the right area for kokanees. I think mostly what I'm seeing is, is rainbows, which I'm fine with, those are delicious. So just give me two more and then I might skedaddle. Man, they were just like ripping the top. raining a little bit i think they like the sun oh hit one one hit it on the sink oh hit it again a little deeper when that overcast comes in maybe oh got him got him on the on the sink method oh my gosh he spit it oh what a jump that was amazing Okay, so maybe what's happening here is that sun comes out, they start coming up top, but when it's overcast, they just hang down a little bit in the column. Jeez. Oh, got another one. Got him on the deep. On the deeps. Come on, baby. Don't come up and be crazy. Don't come up there and be crazy. Just We just need you in the net. Oh, this is a dandy. Oh, yeah, they're out there. Figured them out. Look at that little rod, just bent over on a trout. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you're not as big, you're not as big as I thought, but you'll do. I might just be able to let you flop around. Right oh, no. Oh gosh, that's why you use a net. Dead go. Oh well, I figured him out now. I was gonna say, I might just be able to let him flop around and make another cast and double up, and then I'll be done. Okay, going for another switch up. That lure has been good. It's been trusty. Oh, got him. Yes. Come on, baby. Need you. Oh, man, he's a fighter. Jumper. Big time. Wow. Look at this guy go. This might be different than a rainbow. I'm coming right to where my fish are. Come to my stringer. Oh yeah, this might be a salmon. No, just a powerful rainbow. The all-powerful rainbow, this guy is a good one. Are you? Are you? What are you? You might be a kokanee. You're a kokanee. Yes, you are. Oh, yes. Oh, gosh, y'all. That's so awesome. I caught a salmon. Man, this guy fought so much harder than those rainbows. Oh, gosh. He's just all muscle. Get you unhooked. Oh, my gosh. Barely hooked. All right. Got me one kokanee. It was an awesome fight on six pound test. 
and that little bitty rod, and then I've got two rainbows. Okay, I'll give me some more of those guys right there. Those are good eaters. Switched up to a little different spoon, more of a kind of a flutter spoon. It's a Meps Cyclone 1 8 ounce. It's got a little orange thing on the end. That baby just took off with it. Oh, God. Let it fall. Oh, gosh. One's, one's feeding right there. Look, 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 look. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. I think it's a rainbow. Not fighting near as hard. Oh, geez, no, it might be another uh, kokanee. Look at this little guy. Oh my gosh, they're little runners. Look at the intensity. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh, I've never seen a bass do that. Oh, oh what are you? Oh, you got to be a kokanee. You're fighting. Oh, no. No. Oh, I lost him. Should have just slung him up on the bank. Oh, well. I was in awe of his flabbergastion. His flopping mode. Okay, I think I got a better lure tied on. That's two kokanees on this lure. It's really, I want, I want these kokanees. Hooked up on another rainbow. Got him on that little maps. Come here, baby. Oh, gosh, don't get off. So much fight to these things. Okay, I'm going to drag you up on shore. And not get broken off by these rocks. Pretty good eater right here. What well, is way different when you're fishing for food? <laughs> It's like, hey, I really don't want you to get away. <laughs> Come on, baby. Get up, get up in these little shallows right here. Yes. Looks like they're feeding right now. It's awesome surface activity, so I'm gonna get this guy on the stringer and come back. I can keep one more of these rainbows. Oh, gosh, oh. Gotta be like a school of fish right there. Getting blistered. There he is. Oh, come on. Seeing some surface pops. It's going down. I think these schools are kind of moving through here from what I've seen. Like they just kind of go back and forth. Oh, there's one. Got him. There we go. That's a rainbow, I think. This might complete my trout fishing journey for the day. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. This could be a kokanee. It is a kokanee. I think they're constantly moving because I've seen the action get just real quick with them. And then that's just done. Whereas the trout are more consistent. They're staying in the same areas. Fish on. And there is a boat. What do we have here? Kokanee? Coco? Yes. Yes. Oh gosh, he got off. Got another one. Must be a school of them there. Don't jump. Just don't do it. Don't throw this hook. Oh my gosh, they run. Oh gosh. Oh. Oh, these fish are crazy awesome. I'm going to need to land you, sir. Wow. What an awesome fish. Get up here. Yes. It came off, but I got you. Another little kokanee. Little tiny guy. Oh, 
Oh, there's a snake. Oh, wow, that's scary. Don't know what kind of snake that is, but it's definitely a snake. So at this point, y'all, I've got six fish. I'd like to get more, but I'm running out of time. It's 518. You know, I'm not going to hunt this afternoon. Definitely don't have time. It's about 45 minute drive back to my camp. I think I'm going to start just fishing my way back and see what I get. Um, and if I don't get anything, at least I got some fish enough to give me some meals, you know, a couple fish a day. And I've got those cutthroat trout that I know are cutthroat trout now that are right behind my camp and I can catch those, you know, at any point. So I feel pretty good about it. I think those kokanees are going to be delicious. <laughs> Got ourselves another. What do we got here? I think it's another kokanee. Come over here to my little pond, sir. My little pond of delicious fishes. Oh yeah, just get right close to them buddies at that stringer and get used to it, because you're going to see them. Boy, these things are slippery like a snake. Worked my way back a little bit and uh got a nice eater trout versus the kokanee the trout will pretty much live on that stringer and these kokanee are so sensitive i guess they give it their all they fight their heart out and then they're dead okay so trout are fairly easy to clean i've done this before on one of my videos but uh, I've never cleaned a kokanee. I'm gonna try doing this the same way as I would the trout. So I'm just gonna cut from its butt up to the head there. And I'm pretty much keeping these um, whole. I'm just, I'm just taking the guts and taking the head off. Sometimes you can just rip the whole entire head out. Ooh, look at those eggs. All that right there, you just kind of push with your thumb to get it out. There we go. Just make a little cut on the top. Rinse it out. And there's a little blood area. Oop, I missed a little guts there. That little blood area, you can just push your, push your thumb in and then push up and you'll feel all those little bones. And you push that blood right out and then it's clean so that's pretty much it that's all there is to it clean the trout just for video sakes here it's pretty much going to be the same thing though just take your knife run up there don't go too deep and i'll cut him right back here on top of the head push all this stuff out Pull right there. Mm. He's a little bigger, so he's a little tougher. All that stuff just comes right out. Push that bloodline out with your thumb. And then rinse. And that's the biggest one I got. That's a delicious looking one. He's gonna be very tasty. stopped in this tiny little town. I don't even know what it's called, but uh, this little place right here had ice uh, and there's just some like RVs and like a couple of cabins and it's by a river. It's, it's down in the valley. There's a rainbow right there. Look at it. It's glorious. Anyways, we should be set now for a couple of days on food, ice and everything. Now we just got to get back to camp. And if these roads are windy, it's going to take me a long, long time to get back there. I'm probably going to be cooking up in the dark tonight. Just fired up the propane. Uh, what I'm going to be doing for a side is taking some red potatoes, chopping them up, and then I'm going to put those in some butter with some garlic, salt, and pepper. 
and I'm basically going to do the same thing with the fish. Just tinfoil them up. I'm going to try a kokanee. I'm going to try a rainbow. Just see which one is better. But I feel so much better. Today was probably one of the best days I've ever had in the outdoors. It's like full spectrum. You know, if you missed the last video, I was hiking up in the mountains. I found elk. Heard them bugle. You know, found a big bull. Ran up 40 yards in front of elk. Spooked them. But... You know, just being up there with them, it's amazing. And coming back down and catching my food for the rest of the week, like, really pretty awesome. And wild fish that I've never even caught before. LFG's outdoor kitchen, gotta love it. Okay, so I've already got one trout on. I've got all my potatoes in there. I'm just taking little pieces of butter. I'm taking that Cosmo SPG. Sprinkle a little bit on the inside, outside, half a lemon. I'll just leave that in there with it. Wrap it up in the foil. And it's going on. I'm gonna have more potatoes than what I need, but I'll have them ready for in the morning. With some eggs, some ham, maybe some more fish. And today, it's been a very successful day. Oh yeah, they're soft. Oh yeah. I think we're gonna be okay tonight. This is why I went fishing. This is that salmon right there. Ooh, okay, that little bone just popped out, so we know it's good to go. All right, fish are done. Let's go enjoy them by the fire. Well, y'all, there's a couple things in life that are pretty unreal in the outdoors. That right there is just amazing. I've already tried a piece of this kokanee. It's just it's out of this world. I've never had it before. Hardly any bones. Look at that skin just comes right off. And then you're just left with these big, juicy, their bones are so tiny. You can just eat them. Just eat them. Cook it in that tin foil with all that steam. The bones just about melt down. Oh my goodness. This is how I'm gonna end today's video, y'all. You just gotta smash that like button for just literally outdoor greatness. I try to pursue these things. I try to show you guys <clears throat> what's out here. A lot of times it's on the local level in Texas, but if you ever come up to Colorado, I mean, the state is just full of places like this where you can go and fish and hunt, and uh, it's not going to cost you very much, especially this fishing aspect of it. Just get you some little spoons, some flies. You don't have to be good at fly fishing, obviously. I suck at it, and I've already caught some fish, so. Big day tomorrow. This is going to be the best fuel I can possibly get delicious fresh fish and it's just like a taste of home. I absolutely love it if you can't tell. Super passionate about it. I will see you guys on, on the next video. Woods deep. Going very deep in for elk. Hunting all day. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe so you don't miss a single video and I will see you on the next one. Not even want to elk hunt. <laughs>